Okay, here it comes, right on schedule. This is the first one. I'm going to do uh, as many as I can tonight. It's 10.30 at night. Not sure exactly where the sun is, but I'm sure some sciencey minded person can tell me how far around this globe planet, this spinning ball Earth, the sun is, so that it's not able to light up an object in the sky. It's coming, so you probably can't see it right now, but it's coming. And I'm waiting for it right over this tree right here. And this is the first one, number one of as many as I can get tonight. The sun is already gone. It's 10.30 at night now. There it is right there. Ten thirty at night, May twenty first, twenty eighteen. Here it comes, constantly illuminated. Supposedly, it's the uh, sun that's illuminating it. Moving slowly along in the sky. Got my laser, but I'm not sure if it'll, it'll work. It's not warmed up. No, nope. here it comes, slowly overhead. Constantly illuminated, not even a flicker. Slowly overhead. There's no air traffic right now. There's nothing going along this flight path, and it's going to be crossing the flight path for the Vancouver airport, like right now, basically. And there are no planes out right now. Off into the distance. There it is, the brightest thing in the sky. Next to the moon, Venus, and Jupiter. But I'm zoomed back all the way, and look, you can still see it. So bright. Constantly illuminated when it shouldn't be. The next one's coming by at 12.10. Middle of the night, the sun should be completely on the opposite side of this supposed spinning ball we're on. 
So the next video you'll see will be number two at 1210, I believe, May 22nd. Until then, look up. Okay, here it comes. This is number two in the series. It's in the distance, and you won't be able to see it on the camera yet, but uh, it's coming right over top of this building on the lower right-hand side of the moon, which is up there. Here it comes, constantly illuminated. It's now 10 after midnight. This should not be illuminated at all. The sun should be on the other side of this supposed ball earth. It's coming right over the top corner of this uh, building here. Just trying to get out of the bright light. Just over top of the building. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Right there. The LISS. I'm stopped now so you can see it moving. There it is. Constant illumination when the sun should be on the other side of this supposed ball earth. I'll zoom in on it again here. Holding the camera as still as possible, not moving at all. This is coming slowly overhead. This is number two in the series, if I haven't said that. Slightly orange. Silently overhead. Still, it's constantly illuminated the entire time it's gone over. Not dimming at all. It's moving along in the sky still. See the trees there as it goes off into the distance. It just looks like it's wobbling around in the sky. It's going past the trees now. Try to move so I can see it. I'm 
to the distance. I'll zoom in here. There it is. It's taken another five minutes for this one to go. The previous one took five minutes to go across as well. So slowly. There it is. You can see it through the trees. Well, anyway. There you have it. Number two. At midnight, when the sun should be on the other side of the uh, earth. So, what is it glinting off of? Why is it lit up like that? So, I got a bit of a train coming by here, but this is number three in the series tonight over May 21st and 22nd. It is now uh, 1 46 in the morning. And uh, you can't really see it. I can see it with my naked eye just at the edge of the trees where that light is at the bottom of the screen. It is coming. The LISS lit up like a Christmas tree again. 1.46 a.m. And uh, this is constant illumination, this bright light. Sorry again, got a train going by so it's a bit loud. but. It's coming. I'll zoom in. I can, you can probably see it when I zoom in now. There it is, right there. All fuzzy. But it'll get bright in a second. It's bright, all right. See going past the star. Going past another star. It's moving. Right. Again, a constant light. This time of night. The sun should be on the other side of this globe that they tell you you live on, this spinning ball in space. This quote-unquote ISS should not be lit up like this. Even with sunlight lighting off of it, it shouldn't be lit up like a Christmas tree like this. Such a bright, constant light. Holding my camera steady, by the way. There's the same trees that the one that went by an hour and a half ago went past. What are the odds? 
It's just going right overhead like that, time after time after time. goes off into the distance. It's still quite bright. I could still zoom right in on it. Each one of these tonight so far, this being the third one, each one of these has been over five minutes long to go across the sky. How long it's taken. There it goes. Off into the distance. See you in another hour and a half. All right, this is number four in the series. Here it comes, right between this valley, between the trees and the building. Comes just over the truck here. Pretty much coming directly overhead. A little bit to the south, whereas the last one was slightly to the north of me on the same path. Once again, <clears throat> right now it's 3.23 in the morning. It's coming alongside the building right there. It's 3.23 in the morning and this is lit up again. Fully lit up. Not even dimming. Very bright. No way this would be reflecting sunlight at 3.23 in the morning. See, going past that star there.
And this is number four in the series. We're now May 22nd. Three twenty, well, probably three twenty-six. I don't have the clock up right here, but started at three twenty-three. Going slowly off into the distance. This is sort of uh, heading in a south direction right now started west and kind of curved around now it's heading south the last one did the exact opposite so this one's going off into the distance where you can see uh one of the planets or something there uh, i think it's saturn So if that one's going off into the distance to the south, the one that I just got before this went and curved around to the north going to the left side of the screen versus this one that now went curving to the south to the right side of the screen. You figure that one out. Again, it was lit up the entire time. I've now got six minutes here of video. It was lit up the entire time. Okay, here it comes. You can see in the distance, right over the trees. Well, maybe you can't see. There it is. So it's uh, number five of the series. It is uh, May 22nd now at 9.41. And... The sun just set at 9, so you can see it's kind of light out still. So it is possible for this one to have some sunlight glinting off of it. However, once again, it's lit up like a Roman candle. And uh, it's behind the tree. There we are, coming up over the top of the tree there. Not looking like anything is glinting off of it when it's uh, lit up so bright. Constant illumination, not even a, a bit of uh, dimming. But it's going slow. Slowly and silently. Now it's heading yeah, northeast, kind of passing the star there up in the sky. Yeah, we're heading, it's kind of curving around, sort of heading uh, east, away from the setting sun, so 
should be dimming, right? Because it's heading away from the setting sun. It's only 250 miles up, so it's not that high. The sun's already gone down below the horizon. It's heading into the darkness right now. So, theoretically, it should be dimming right now. Got my camera zoomed out so uh, you know when the dimming happens you won't see it in the sky. I don't see any dimming yet. The next one will be number six in this series and it'll be I don't know about 11.15 so pretty close to midnight sun should be way around this spinny ball we're on and there should be no illumination in the next one whatsoever it should be very hard to see in the sky this one's just going off into the distance no dimming yet Dim out. Prove that all the scientists are right about the spinning ball. It's still really bright. Anyway, till the next one. Here it comes. You can't really see it with the light, but it's just at the lip, the top of the building. I'll try and walk forward and get out of this light, but it's coming. This is number six. This one looks like it's coming right overhead. Number six in the series. It's 11:17. Uh, uh, P.M. Quick question: Where do you think the sun is? Not here. Here it comes. I'll zoom in on it right over the building here. There it is. So it's essentially the middle of the night. It's not going to be any sunlight glinting off of this uh, supposed spaceship. There's the moon. Here it comes. Oh, I wonder if I can get it with my laser. Laser.
like right overhead now. See it going past the star there. Directly up in the sky over my head. Slowly and silently. Another star in the sky, I can see it moving along towards it. Here comes a plane. First plane in about two minutes, three minutes, maybe even four minutes, but yeah, it's, uh, it's actually heading in the opposite direction. goes past the same trees the last one went over yep off he goes that's number six off into the distance okay this is number seven it's uh, 1254 May 23rd and it's coming right between the valley and the tree and the building. I've got a train idling next to me so it's a little bit loud right now but uh, here it comes in the distance. 12.54 so there is no possibility of any sunlight striking a spaceship in the sky. There it is, you can see it in the distance. It's coming. It's coming. It's taking its time. Coming over the treetops. Silently overhead.
once again it's heading towards the uh, same trees at the last two went over same direction and it hasn't dimmed in any way shape or form Goes. This is number seven in the series since uh, the evening of the 21st of May, and now it's the morning of the 23rd of May. There it goes off into the distance. Still probably zoom in on it. There we go. Bright as can be. Where's the light coming from? Hmm? would have you believe it's from the sun it's one o'clock in the morning there it goes all right I'll be back for the next one okay this is number eight in the series this one is again coming right down the pipe between the trees and the building. I can zoom in on it. There it is right there. And it's 2.31 in the morning on May 23rd. Once again, this is fully illuminated when the sun should be on the other side of the planet. Just coming right overhead. Bright as can be. directly overhead now. That's ah, right overhead. It's taking a while. It's going slow. I'll try to hit it with my laser. See what happens. Last time I tried to hit it with my laser, the police came around. It's going from west to kind of south in a way, going past the star. 
can see it going past the star. Eventually it's going to be, there's the trees again. But this time these are the trees on the south side of this lot that I'm on versus the other trees that I'll show at the uh, end when this goes past. Look how bright it is. You can still see it into the distance. This is not, uh, not sunlight glinting off of this. Just go up right up there. There yeah. we see it. Yeah. There's another orb crossing oh, overhead. This one's going way into the distance, but look how bright it is still. You can still see it. Slowly off into the distance. Coming up in another five minutes, yeah, over five minutes now. It's taking this to go overhead. Okay, there it comes. This is number nine of the series. It's uh, May 23rd at 4.08 a.m. And there it comes. You can see it. There it is. Distance. Stupid light. This one's low in the sky, sort of heading from west to south, curving south seemingly over the treetops, but uh, the sun is well, 4.08, the sun is not coming up, but it's uh, about an hour away from coming up, so it could possibly be getting hit by light from the sun. But once again, it's uh, lit up pretty bright. around this tree here and see you can see it through the tree oh, I was making quite a hook this time west to south going under Saturn 
Saturn. into the distance. Until oh, there it is. Bye bye. And until the next one. Alrighty, this is number ten. It's uh, May twenty third at uh, ten. What is it? I don't know. 1025, that's what it is. Anyway, here it comes over the building, right overhead. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right now, but there it is, right there. I'm gonna try and get closer to the building here because I got a light. But it's uh, coming up over top of the building here. Right in line with the building there. There it is, right there. So this is number 10 in the series. This one's going to be coming right overhead. There's a cloud cover. So we're probably going to lose it in the clouds. Since it's supposedly 250 miles up. But again, it's 10.25, 10.30. The sun is down over the curve, in quotes. Over the curve. So there shouldn't be any sunlight glinting off of it at all. Definitely not a constant light. And here it comes to the clouds. Let's see it go into the clouds because it's so high. All right, let's see if we can follow it. It's in there. It'll pop out. There's a well, there's a clearing somewhere over there, but there's the moon. Where is it? Somewhere up there. Oh, well, there's a plane in the sky too, so. Air traffic's not completely been cleared. Let's see if I can see it popping out the other side. Where are you? See there's clearing over there, so it should be coming out. Okay, still waiting. It's kind of going with the clouds, so. There it is. Yep. There it is. I think I can see it through the clouds. That's amazing. It's so.
apparently there's an orb chasing it. Anyway, it's going through the clouds. Huh. Into the distance. Still lit up. Hasn't diminished whatsoever. Anyway, until the next one. Here's a couple of planes in the sky for this one. Uh, this is number 11. There was one earlier tonight. Uh, right now it's 11.09, May 24th. Um, there was one earlier that I had gotten, but Butterfingers hit the wrong button. Anyway, once again, that was at 9 something rather, but uh, let's see, it should be coming now at some point, somewhere. Kind of a light haze tonight. It's coming from the west, so... Oh, there it is. Just not looking in the right place. Here it comes just up the edge of that building, right there. So this is technically number 12, but it's number 11 that I've videotaped. Now, like I said, it's 11.09 right now, and there's not a chance that any sunlight would be glinting off of this uh, spaceship, quote-unquote. It's a bit of a haze up in the sky, so it's a bit harder to see. But there it is. I can hear another plane up, way up in the sky, but... Uh, yeah, there's no other planes right now. One of my theories is they're specifically clearing the air traffic for this. So yeah, 11 in a row since uh, the evening of the 21st. It's now the evening of the 24th. Definitely no chance it would be lit up like this. Like a candle, like a Roman candle. Constant illumination. Not even a glimmer, not even a dimming in any way, shape or form. Almost directly overhead, it's about, I don't know, 10 degrees to the north of me going east to west. All of them, are, or rather west to east, all of them are going west to east. It's taking a while to go overhead. It's kind of curving towards the northwest, or northeast rather. Started in the west, now it's kind of curving towards the northeast. There's those same trees. That's it for number 11. It's off into the distance, heading northwest, northeast now. Jeez. Until the next one. Okay, this is number 12 in the series. It's 1247 on the 25th of May. Been going since the evening of the 21st. 
and uh, there it is. I was looking for it. It's behind the trees. There it is. At 12.47, there shouldn't be any sunlight glinting off of this. Unlike some who believe that there are lights on the ISS, which is completely false, even still, there's no powerful light that could go 250 miles from space to here. Anyway, constant illumination. Same as the others, not a flicker, not a dim, it doesn't go out and nothing. The sun should be on the other side of this globe, in quotes. Actually kind of turning a little bit south. It's really curving around south. It's almost right overhead. Still a constant illumination. And silent, obviously. those same trees again. And it's pretty much west to east. It's kind of northeast right now. Constant illumination. And it's 12.47 on the 25th, early in the morning. There it is, we can still see it way in the distance. Faintly, but yeah. a lot of illumination, you can still see it. Well, let's see if we can get lucky number 13.